Welcome to the first Infinite Painter 6 tutorial. Uh, let's start with a quick tour around the interface of the application. Uh, we are in the main painting workspace of Infinite Painter. Uh, as you see, the interface is rather simplistic, but it contains quite a lot of hidden features. Uh, when you first start the applications, the application you can uh, see only the working area called the canvas and a couple of icons. At the top we have a first icon that hides the interface, the main toolbar and uh, a group of uh, menu icons on, on the right. At the bottom we have undo and redo buttons. The main toolbar uh, contains three buttons that uh, control the mode of current painting tool, the paint mode, blend mode and erase mode. Uh, the paint mode adds color to, to the canvas. In blend mode the brush blends or smears the colors already applied and in erase mode we erase current layer to transparency. Uh, okay, in each mode, if I tap again on the icon, I have access to a list of uh, available, available brushes. But unlike in other applications, in each mode, I have access to the same all tools or just the same set of preset and custom brushes. There are no specialized blend or um, erase tools. Each brush can serve each purpose. Uh, <clears throat> the next three icons in main toolbar control the parameters of current, uh, current brush. The size icon allows me to adjust size but also angle of the brush. Also I can select blend mode of the current tool and I have access to all the advanced features, all the advanced settings of a current brush. There are tons of them. If I don't tap on the size icon rather than slide left or right, I can quickly adjust the size of the brush without entering into the dialog. If I tap on color, I have a standard color picker, numerical, numerical control, and a swatch palette, which is editable, and other palettes can be loaded or created. If I, in turn, slide left or right on the color icon, I can adjust the, the brightness of the color. Uh, next is the opacity button. It allows me to adjust opacity but also flow parameter and softness of the brush head. And that's the main toolbar. Uh, from the menus, the most important and the first is the tools menu, which contains all the power in Infinite Painter for the transformation tools, fill tools, guides, shapes, symmetries, perspective grids, uh, what, editing tools like uh, a lot of selection tools, color editing, filters, uh, tonal curve, pattern, pattern tools, and a lot of uh, other options. Next is the pushpin icon, which uh, controls the reference images. If we have imported photos, we can display them as reference images. You can have as many as, as you wish. Uh, next is layer panel. Layers in Painter can be named, can be organized. Uh, 
each layer has a lot of options. The last menu is the options menu where you can create new project, open existing one or save the current project. Uh, you can you can import and export images from here and you can create a time-lapse video from your work. Uh, the last three icons you have access to users community, to help system and to settings. Okay, that's just this is a basic look of the main interface. But in, in certain situations, new elements may appear or may be added, like additional menus, palettes, floating tools, custom toolbars, etc. Size and colors of the interface can be changed. Some of the toolbars can be moved around. As you see, the inter interface is very flexible. And besides the main painting workspace, there are about 12 separate workspaces for certain tools and functions like uh, transformation workspace, filters, patterns, and many others. I'll try to cover all of the options in upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.